Okay, okay, this is uh, the GE profile that I'm having problems with. Uh, basically, the defroster is the first thing to go failure, where uh, it just wouldn't defrost anymore and go into a freezing mode, where I'd have to thaw it out with a uh, hair dryer and uh, basically get it, get it defrosted. Then it would run for a while, then uh, it would uh, freeze up again and wouldn't defrost itself. And then finally, now we have a complete power failure. Can you hear it? Click, 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 click. I'm going to try to replace this uh, circuit board and see if that fixes the problem. Usually the clicking noise is, is louder. In this box here you will get an HRS. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a really light green light HRS in this box here as the clicking's going on. Okay, just got the replacement board. The replacement board uh, uh, comes with instructions. I would recommend you highly follow them. Okay, this also shows the, uh, the back panel that we removed. This shows the circuit board. And also be very careful with your connections. This one and this one both have the same amount of pins, so you can get these mixed up, so be very careful. Actually, it looks like this and your refrigerator should, should be turned like this, at least on my model it is. That's how I look at it from the back. And this one and this one are the same amount of pins, so be careful not to connect those incorrectly. Uh, also, it has instructions for the, the bottom cooler models. I have the French car model. Okay, so uh, make sure you follow the uh, wire cutting procedures uh, like they're going to tell you here, cut wire here. Uh, they're going to tell you certain procedures to bypass a wire here and here and all these instructions. This, uh, this, this repair board came from uh, Amazon, your Austin store for $143.95. Uh, so uh, wasn't a bad deal. Uh, I tried to get a hold of GE because there's a recall on this board, but GE says they won't budge, they won't pay for it. So, anyway, I'm going to replace the board and we're going to see what happens. Okay, now put motherboard in from uh, Amazon, and I'll put that on the, uh, on the, the right up there. Uh, put it in, install it, fired it up, and now she works fine. So that was a simple fix. These boards seem to have a lot of problems. The 2005-2006 uh, GE profiles and some of them with the uh, freezers on the bottom also uh, have the, uh, the problem also. So uh, hope this helps somebody to uh, fix a problem when they have that ticking noise and uh, no power. No, uh, the compressor's not working, no coolant, nothing. Good luck.